This is all I really gotta say, man. I quit smoking, so I'm vaping now. It's been helping me the last week. And I'm hoping to eventually quit that and quit everything. But here's the thing. You gotta think about this, like, dude. What if you could make a game where fans, not just watch it on YouTube, but can enter the stadium and sit in seats? I've been thinking about it, like how cool it would be like if a company did it for all their games and cross-played it, how many people would end up ending up going to like a fight in a UFC. Like, let's say EA Sports does it and 2K isn't on board with it, but then they see UFC and they see all that and then they're like, all right, we got to create our own version of that, just like everyone created my player. You know, like, so maybe it'll be like something like that. And it's also a way you can earn, step up, earn perks. There'll be camera shots of the game. Your view of it is basically, um, how can I say it? You can pick any of the views like the, like that the player can pick. You can watch it from that angle, but you're, or you can watch it from your seat in a live person. Because if you get a courtside seat, it might be cool just to see, look at your boy next to you. He has an avatar and it's dope. I don't know. I think it would be. So I've been thinking about like a way that how would they do it? Like, how would they... And the Avatar wouldn't be that animated. It wouldn't be as animated as, like, the fighters and stuff like that. It couldn't be. Because they... Unless you, like, had face scan and all that. So that's what I mean. Uh, maybe it's called fan race or fan base. It's, could be, it's called fan base. So if you download the app fan base, you can start start up being a fan of, you know, the gaming. Sports game and watch championship fights between like two professionals that are playing each other. You like you make new friends if you weren't friends with someone, you can send them a friend request if they're saying they can buy you or something. You gotta get people to come to it though. Some people it would just be like a good podcaster and good at the game and trying to show people it and then they'll come to that. You can't constantly change your avatars, you could change like the co- the color of their clothing. Their shirts, whatever type of shirt you have in the closet, because you're gonna have a collection of all the different things you've done or earned through points. Um, you're, you're gonna have uh, souvenirs from everything that you can always have, like from games. Like they'll have a bobblehead of like a real player or something. You have it, and like, you can look at it. You'll put it in like a square space, and then you can take it out and look at it. Something like that, you know. So it also say like if you clicked on someone or looked over like. Down, they would show like the 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 people down in the front row is like, like one guy might be a celebrity. He's such a fan. I don't know how to how to make it. I, I don't know yet. But the game would be the app would be dope for people who are into watching gamers. So it'd be called fan base. That's probably the best word for it. And I don't know who takes it. Is it gonna be EA? Is it gonna be 2K? Who's gonna end up making something like that? When I think about it, I think EA would be the most daring to try it because they have three games, whereas 2K only has the two main sports. They got baseball and basketball, but they're going to get tons of people that come because there's a lot of baseball and basketball fans in America. And the, the soccer ones will have people from all over the world come to those. You know what I mean? Like, But I think people come all over the world to watch the basketball ones and the, and the soccer ones. I don't know if they come all over the world to watch the football, like Madden. But it'd be a way that you can get someone, they'll be they'll be like, I'm going to check out an American football game. It'll be his first football game. He gets to sit in the stadium. He's from overseas. He's never seen it. It'd be amazing. Now, with cigarettes and light cigarettes, you just end up taking a bigger hit to equal the amount of nicotine you want. So you end up taking a bigger hit to basically, uh, I can prove it right with this right here. I can actually prove that you will take a bigger hit when to get the amount that you want and that is desired, I will put this on twenty. Okay, we're gonna look at the drag. My my cart has a drag ratio, so it just shows the seconds of each drag. So we're gonna put it on twenty, right? But to get that amount, it was two point seven seconds. Let me put it up to forty. I'm going to prove it right now that if you go down in cigarettes, it doesn't matter either. One point three five seconds for the same drag. The same amount of smoke and everything. 
in Philadelphia saying my own line long. So, yeah. You take in the same amount of smoke. It, you, you Going down wouldn't necessarily help you quit. Um, what would help you quit is just going down in the flavors. They might make a team, you know. Like, they, they could make, like, one of these things where... So I'm making coffee. Back to more brainstorming for the uh, the fan base game that I think is going to end up happening that someone's going to make. 20 years, 15 years, 10 years, something like that, right? On game systems. I believe that on game systems, you're going to be able to be a fan of, like, the top people who play the games in the world. And you can, like, create an avatar. Imagine, Just imagine this. You create an avatar of yourself, and you can go into all the sports games, every venue of anything. You can even watch a Street Fighter match, and it'll show you in the background or something. They could somehow add it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Maybe not Street Fighter, but pretend it's just basketball, football, baseball, uh, MMA, and uh, like you want to see a fight, and it's like two of the top five best MMA uh, the new the new MMA fighters in the world, or it's Mortal Kombat or something like that. Imagine you sitting in the seat like you get to go into the arena, and then you earn like you earn rep for for going to different venues. Like you, you like they give you a T shirt so you can always wear it as your character. Like if you're there for the fight, they give you, so that will always be for your avatar. You can get you can get like something to eat, something to drink, whatever. You can buy a souvenir or whatever souvenir is given out that day. Like let's say you go to a baseball game, they always give out souvenirs. So you'll get like a souvenir or something that you can take and you put in your collection. And then there's like a safe, like you know, like like the style like you like with boxes and you can just put it in there and it's in your it's in your collection of like collectibles that you were at this fight or you were at this Super Bowl because they all had. We'll have a Super Bowl, and whoever wins it, everyone like there'll be like five, fifteen thousand people that will show up on the on in the audience just to watch it. And you can either watch it from how the players are seeing it, or you can watch it from how like different angles. They'll give you different ways that you want to watch it. But you can also earn box seats. Like think about it. Like if you had VIP points and you and you did this, you did this, you did this, you seen this. You can earn like a box seat where you and like four of your boys, because it's not going to be everybody on the same airwave. It's not going to be connected through like, not everyone's going to be on the same channel voice wise. they are not going to do that. That'd be insane. What you would be able to do is like you would just go to like a box with your boys and watch like a, uh, watch like a basketball game. And you could, there's stuff in the box you can use and eat cause just because you earned enough points. Stuff like that, you know what I mean? And you build your character up, level him up based on, like, different, like, what type of fan you are. Like, if you're a sports, like, you know all about it, you know how this is, whatever it is, you know what I mean? You get rep for being, like, how real fans are, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I mean? Like, I think that they're going to make it. I think that they'll use an avatar. You'll be able to create it just like it was a Wii, just like it was a Wii. And I believe you'll be able to go into the different venues if not, I hope someone creates it, at least. That'd be so dope. You know, they'd be cool if, like, okay, you find out the two top 20 MMA fighters are fighting and it's a championship because there was a, they held a tournament and these two guys won. So you just were like, oh, man, I, I missed the tournament, but I'm going to go see this one. So imagine you going in there and there's 10, it shows 10,000 people sitting in the audience and it's their avatars. Like, how would it even be able to do it? How would you even be able to do it? And then the camera will show different. Sometimes your avatar will get on the camera whenever it shows, like, the audience doing stuff or whatever. You know what I mean? And it'll just be, like, really cool. Like, sometimes it'll be, like, a really funny guy who shows up in, like, a funny mask or something, like an MMA mat. Or just whatever, just goofy stuff, too. You know what I mean? You can you can purchase different perks and for your head. You can wear different hats. However you want to dress to go to the venue, you can dress like a business person. If you're, if you're, imagine you're sitting front row because you earn perks, and, you, and like you, you usually are gonna sit in the back. Like if you're, if you just start out, you're gonna sit in like the upper decks, right? You're gonna sit in the upper decks, then you're gonna earn some rep, and but you can watch it not from the upper deck level. You can watch it from any of the choices that the game gives you. It'll give you like different angles you can watch the game. So you'll start up, but you can work your way all the way down to the court side, you know what I'm saying, where, and they'll, they'll make, there'll be animations, and earn, you know what I'm saying, where you, you could also earn, this is the other thing, 
so you can earn you earn your way basically down or up, including because that's where the press boxes are, the highest up. So basically, and imagine this, just like prime time going to a venue of like a UFC fight and you sit in front row in a suit or something like that, like that you good on, or something like that, or if you're allowed to pick your crew that comes with you and they're all sitting there, or you could even earn your way into like corner men, like think I don't even know how to describe that one. Oh, you earn different chants. Like you can, if if you earn certain perks, you know how some things are for sale. Like you, and when you go to the store, you can earn coins to try to earn them. On an MMA, on on a USC, you you can put in coins and get the same thing that if you. If you earn enough coins, you can get the same thing. It take yeah, it takes way longer. You can't get whatever you want. If you can only get one thing, some things are really expensive and the coins are hard to come by. So they, but I would basically be saying is you can earn like animations for your guy. Like you can make him chant some or like yo yeah. You can make him like say something. Let's go, let's go, and and you can insert the name. Like their view, view will be different if they're courtside. Like it'll say who do you who are you rooting for? And you can say like uh, Thompson and Thompson or something like that, and then Thompson basketball or something, and then it'll be like go Thompson. You know what I mean? Like if it's a name that's recognizable or whatever, like something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like. Or you, or you could talk into your mic. Uh, you could earn, like, different animations where your guy, like, claps. Like, uh, you guys, people could end up doing the wave. Like, all types of things could happen from this idea. It's just a really good idea, I think, that if you made a fan base that wasn't... And you can still podcast. You can still put your stuff on, on you know, YouTube if you want. This doesn't take away from YouTube because you do both. You you would just do both. Some people would be on their system and be like, "Yo, man, I want to check this fight out. It's fucking it's Saturday. I'm not doing nothing right now, and these guys are about to fight for the championship belt. You know what I'm saying? They're the two best, you know, guys. Like I'm going to this fight, so you have to pay with your perks, whatever you earn for going. You pay with coins or something like that. I don't know how you earn everything. I don't know how you get into every venue. You just you you know you're allowed in the venue no matter what. You they give you a ticket and you walk in. And then it just shows you going to your seat and an usher like ushering you to your seat, but that's the thing. You need the status. You need you need to get built up as someone who goes to games a lot and is a big fan. And then you work your way into courtside. You work your way to ringside. You work your way to press boxes. Everything. Football match going to a Madden game and being for the Browns and some guy uses the Browns or some guy uses the Steelers or some guy uses. Whatever the team is, man, it just it'd just be so fun. Like if they were the two best players or something like that. Like, and the, I just think there should be a way that you you can control if someone could come in and just watch what you're doing, not not only like take over what you're doing, but just watch it. You know what I'm saying? For a fight or for uh, for for like a fight, uh, a basketball game, a soccer game, a uh, football game, a baseball game. A racing game, something like a moral, like a, a street fighter. If you could even find a way to do it, I don't know. Maybe you can make one one arena with stands in it, and make the people fight in there, and then people can watch it from stands or something. I don't know how they would do it, but you could just get in on it, and whoever had the most fans would like watch them, you know, in, who in, who entered the stadium and earned the status or whatever they earned that night, whatever free shirt they get. You get like a free shirt of, of the event every time, so you can always wear it. So it's like, <clears throat> or just you collect them. You basically, you put them in the collection, like with your other stuff. There's like shelves and all types of stuff you have. You know what I mean? You're just like, it's not about being the biggest fan. It's just it's just about like, some people want to see like what people are doing. Like, like you know what I mean? How good they are. Or just want to see what happens when two really, you know what I mean? I think it'd be just a really good idea if, if it, for football, for baseball, whoever ends up doing it, and can get people in there. I I don't know if it. I don't think it would flop. If you had every sport do it, there's no way it would flop. If maybe only two sports, because EA would only be able to do soccer, they'd be able to do football, and they'd be able to do MMA. So EA has the most. Two K only has two. They got baseball, and they got basketball. So if 2K did it, it'd be the same thing. Like you would still join in. And that's the thing. It, it, the reason why the developers of the game should let them do it, because then that person might want to purchase the game. 
So it's a good idea.